Some people just stand out in a crowd, excellent at their craft, excellent in their thinking. And they're not hard to find because they stand out. My name is Joe Crenshaw, and I'm looking for the standouts. All right, thanks so much again for coming. I'm so thankful you guys are watching. We're here with Lynn Scarborough. Lynn, thanks for being here. Great to be here. <laughs> yeah, it's for a sure. great day. No, awesome. So we're so pumped to have her. A couple things about Lynn, just in general, that really kind of make her stand out. So she owns her own cheese business, which is awesome, right? It's called Cheese It Please. I'll let you talk about all that. Has a lot of background in coaching and teaching people in media and coaching people that are in front of the That's camera. So she'll probably give me a bunch of tips after this is over <laughs> about things that we can do better. Uh, and then also has written great. books, right? So l I'll let you do the rest of that. So give an idea professionally, your background, kind of where that came from. Well, I'm actually on about my fifth or sixth career. I started off actually in theater, but then went into television news, which was the bulk of my career. I was a coach for television stations, um, worked for over 200, 200 networks and over 200 stations and trained over 6,000 people. I lost count. Yeah. And from there, I actually went into being more at home and writing books and doing media crisis training for clients and especially working with nonprofits and issues such as hunger issues for kids. And now I'm working... Um, uh, have a have a farmer's market business. I it's called Cheese a Pleaser. Yep. And 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 I have basically reinvented the old standard of pimento cheese, which personally, as a kid, I hated. I just didn't like it. But have redeveloped it uh, based upon. Uh, and now I'm selling it at market. I have like 15 different flavors, and and I'm making the cheese. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Cheese. I'm such a foodie. Love cheese. Big flavors, kind of your thing. Yes. With the cheese stuff, right? So. The, what has set you apart? What makes you stand out in that industry? Well, what makes the difference is because I have really a unique flavors. And where most pimento cheese is made with like four ingredients, it's like cheese, mayonnaise, a little bit of a little bit of pickles and a little bit of mustard and it's really boring and it tastes plastic yeah. <laughs> and I and I and I really just that's why I don't like it it tastes like mayonnaise and plastic but what happened was when my mother was in the nursing home she would have me bring her pimento cheese sandwiches so if I was going to have lunch with mom, I had to make something that I liked. So I added lots of flavor. I have lots of cheeses and really extreme flavors, unique things like a dill pickle cheese, uh, pesto cheese, um, hatch uh, green chili. And we've got the Cajun, too, for all the pepperheads. Yes. <laughs> so, nice. Love it. So I want to move a little bit more towards some of the coaching background for media. Yes. First of all, how am I doing? You're doing great. You're, You're doing yeah. great. Cool. Good eye contact. Yeah, that's Very awesome. good. Good gestures. Like it. So with that, uh, one of the things I know for you that yeah. really y you feel like distinguishes you is your ability to teach, right? Yeah. So one, where does that come from? What about teaching really helps you be unique in that area? Well, I think that teachers have got to have a mindset. I was fortunate because I was the oldest of four, so I got to practice a lot of my brothers and sisters growing up. But I always... What I love about teaching, and especially being a coach, which is what I did in the news industry and as whatever I was working with, is helping people be their best. And a coach, a truly great teacher and a coach, sees the gem, sees the gold in a person, and is able to sort of mine that and bring that forward, even if the person in their own mind doesn't believe that it's there. Yeah, so just recognizing the yeah. value creating opportunity for that value to be exposed so that now they know their value, they're able to walk in that. That's awesome. So with, obviously you've written books. How many books have you written? Well, I've written two under my name and then I've ghostwritten about uh, four to six. Okay, so four to six books, ghostwritten, two under your name. You told me the story of that. You originally just started. You just love to write, right? Uh, yeah. How, how does a love of writing then evolve into creating these books and publishing them? Well, when I first started in the news industry, I really wasn't a very good writer because working, writing thesis and getting working on my master's and P, the PhD programs teaches you how to write for academic, which is not the way you write for news. But I started writing when I was in high school. I journaled and I journaled. I tried for 20 years to sell my first book and then it took me 20 years to get the first book sold, but I kept writing and writing and writing. It's not something that came easily like it does for other friends of mine. I just kept at it till now. Now I do a pretty good job. Yeah, and I love I love that that just 
you know, sometimes there's some people that have gifts that just are natural. And oh, yeah. They're in them or passions that they love to do. But a lot of times, and it sounds like for you with all of your careers, mm -hmm. there's a level of steadfastness and a discipline and just really needing to put your mind in practice and put those things into practice. So how yes. has that mindset for you as a professional just generally impacted the way that you've been successful? Well, steadfast is a really good work, but also it's tenacious. And, but in order to be tenacious, part of it's just showing up every day. I mean, you know, making my cheese, I don't necessarily want to get in there and cook for 12, 15 hours and do it. It's physically hard. You know, it's a lot easier to go <laughs> not do it. But you have to show up and you have to do it. But if, you, if I didn't have the mindset, if I didn't believe in it, if I didn't have that attitude to keep focused on it, I couldn't do it. And it's the same thing with writing books. I believe I had something to say. And uh, there's a great line that Peggy Noonan, who was the speechwriter for Reagan, said. She said, and also she writes for um, Wall Street Journal. She says, some people write to express what they think. I write to find out what I think. And that's what happens when I write certain things. I discover what I'm really thinking. And sometimes I have to write. I don't know what I'm going to write, but it just sort of comes out. Yeah, and I think there's there's definitely like a culture of we need to have everything planned, put together, structured, all created before I pull the trigger, right? There's the ready, fire, aim, and then the ready, aim, fire. And so for you, I'm, I like that the process revealed some of the strategy. And even in writing, instead of having to have the strategy first, now the process itself was able to help you kind of get clarity on that. And and with that, a couple of things just from here, right? Just generally as a business professional, um, obviously there's some entrepreneurship, you've started all of these things. And so with that, if you're trying to help entrepreneurs out there just in starting things, what are some of the things that you would, you, you would say are good to know to help get them started? Well, part of it is starting it as a dream, but also get counsel. I was fortunate to have a lot of business mentors and people in my life that came alongside me. And you have to be ready to take criticism. And you have to seek them out because sometimes a really good mentor is going to push you back because they get enough people trying to bug them. But you've got to be after it and, and be able to receive what they have. And you have to study. You have to work. You have to, you know, just like learning how to write a business plan. Nobody told me. I just went and studied and started writing it and writing it and working on it. Yeah, so tenacity, right? Tenacity, practice, research, and able to being willing to study. You can't, you can't just. A lot of people have the dreams, but if you don't put the time, if you don't plow the field and plant the seeds, you're not going to have it. A lot of people dream about this, about having the having the fruit, but they don't want to get the work done and get That's their good. hands dirty. That's good. I love that. And but I it's also partnership too. For sure, and I love that you included the idea of counsel about surrounding yourself yes. with many counselors yes. because again I can go after something and have this idea of like this is gonna work it's perfect I know it but every individual has blind spots so it's so important to be able to hear mm -hmm. from the experience and everybody else last thing I kind of want to do and just for us just to be able to help you right like yeah. a lot of our goal is others focused let's support you in all of your endeavors if we were to ask how would we as a community be able to create opportunity for you uh, with some of the things you're doing right now? What does that look like exactly? Well, one, I love, I love media coaching. So if you know anybody that needs some help being more effective on camera or public speaking, I'm here. I <laughs> know you're doing great. And also, if you have media crisis coaching, I can help with that too on how to give, put your best foot forward with the media. But now with this sort of new evolution of cheese a please -a, um, I um, am trying to get out there into more stores. I'm trying to build the word and just try to get in front of these stores so I can ramp up to take it to the next level. I'm trying to take, I've created a whole new category of cheese, not only as a dip or a sandwich, but as a, as basically a, a meal, gourmet meal additive that makes it easy for moms. You can grab and go and take it with you. But um, I'm just looking for new opportunities, doors to open and partnerships. Awesome. Well, we'd love to help you. I'll certainly put Lynn's information just so you guys can be able to see and find her and get the cheese. That's priority one for me. I have not tasted the cheese yet. So as soon as we're done, I'm definitely going to find the opportunity to get some cheese. But thanks so much for coming. I'm definitely glad that you were able to be here. Thanks so much. Yeah, for sure. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.